That's a bit old school way. I'll have to bring it on. Let's take it to pieces and let's see what they've uh, been up to. Tweak the bottom so to make it nice and holy. One gram, exactly one gram escapes. 0.8, I think these are. That's what sense, my senses say. Oh, close. 0.7, I was wrong. Gram each of skates. I'm sure there is many of his screws in there, but maybe, uh, maybe they're missing. <laughs> maybe someone took it apart prior to it being sent. Unless it's just clips and they don't have skates, but I don't know, maybe there's no screws. I'm guessing that's why it was a little bit more flexible at the back, because it's like there's a third one in the back here. One, two, three, four, five screws, I assume, are meant to be in this, which probably explains why I shouldn't have done that, but there we go. You ready? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, okay, different design. Interesting switch, okay. Definitely made some adjustments in here, for sure. It's a nice little PCB in it. People are going to be loving this for modding. Look at this PCB. I'll take a close look and measure it for people modding. All my little uh, nerdy friends are going to be geeking out soon to be modding this PCB and buying these. It's very small, though. This is one tiny PCB. Look at the size of this thing. World's smallest PCB. So it's got a Razer EP-2-45K or an N5045634. I think it's EP. The writing's so hard on my eyes. Who makes this blue switch? Anyone who makes this blue switch? TTC? Yeah, TTC. So it's got TTC switch. Oh, it's blind here. TTC switch. Nice. Here's the thickness of the PCB if you want to mod it yourself. We've been trimming this down. Starting to get super thin now. This is where a lot of the weight savings come in. It's a bit of a weird shape. Some people will get some good 3D printers out on this. Port, but. Razor still using rivets, which I'm not overly a fan of, if I'm honest. But mm. I'm just see how big the batteries. Let's see. A weird sticky stuff. Is it all right? Okay, it's a one point. 85 WH, it's a 306 milliamp 3.87 volt. It's got a smaller JST, five grams, I reckon. Close, it's hard to tell these. I can never tell where you're supposed to measure. Is it like here? So micro, maybe one mil. I don't know. JST is it's the very small, it's not the, the smaller version than the normal one that you expect to see. I would like to bend them to see how thick the plastic is. It's definitely thinner, but it's not bad, maybe. Maybe still a quarter of a mil thick, maybe? What do you reckon, weight? 6.3. Oh, I was out, 8.9. It's pretty normal for a base, that's be fair. I can't really tell the construction's better, right? We're already looking at the, see the screws here? Can't quite see them, they've got screws on the buttons. They are still riveted, but okay. But they've got screws on the buttons, which is this part, by the way. You know. It's like they built it to trick me. A little traditional poster, stop it from flexing from the top, it's good. And then you can see they've um, in a skeleton kind of piece, they kind of drilled it as well, trim out some of the weight. Ta-da! We're out, baby. Here we go. Look how trimmed out this is. <laughs> I like it. These are becoming better, this skeleton style, for keeping the mouse a bit more firmer. Some side switches. Oh, they've got different. They've changed the switches on the mains. These mains are totally different. Here you go, look how flat they are. All right, compared to... The, these are Gen 2 maybe or Gen 1, but they've all been the same up until now versus this one. This is why we take them apart. You see how thin that is? We'll see in a minute, but look how thin it is compared to the switch. It's not a normal switch. It's almost like a low profile. These are like the micro switches on the side, we call them. And these have got like almost a low profile micro switch. Interesting. Okay. This is different. I've seen this before. Nice little ribbon cable. Only one ribbon cable out of all of this tied together. Nice. Okay. Don't break these ribbon cables. If you break these ribbon cables, that's it. GG. There you go. That's what this puppy looks like. Switches. They're all kind of doing some of the thing on the side switches at the minute. You desolder these pads and then they ping off, so they're pretty similar ones. 
This is the Dayu Day, Day, Day switch. Yeah, I can never pronounce his name, but it's one that you'll know, but you won't know if you know what I mean. It's not like TTC or on one or anything, but it's one of the other ones. They build mice as well. Okay, 0.7, that's, that's really low for ribbon and switches, by the way, just as an FYI. It's a good job right there. Kind of took out the scroll wheel then, didn't you? People always say what about scroll wheels and stuff, and I'm like, don't you want the scroll wheel? <laughs> I'm not going near turkey teeth. You go. If you're interested in changing the scroll wheel colour, a lot of people like that stuff. You can change it, there you go. So there's the ring measurement. What a weird encoder. But first, look at these switches. These switches are 100% new. No one's ever had these. A weird Gen 4 switch yet. No one's seen these before. This is... Look at that. What the hell? These are way different. There we go. Look at that. This is... This is so unique. These are way different. I've not seen these before. What? This is crazy if you're into switches. This is totally different. Way different, yeah. It's different. Razer had this version hot swappable switch, right, for ages, and I always wanted them to make a better like switch selection for us, but they never did. Maybe they will here now. They need to. There's the uh, switch reader basically. This part here is the bit that detects the switch press. It's got Razer encoder, which is different. Brand of it. I don't understand how it's an optical encoder, but it is different because four pins. See that? One, two, three, four. This could be the new encoder style. I've not seen that before. Other than that, it looks very, very similar. Six mil. Interesting. It's even low. That's small. That's low encoder. That about six mil. This PCB. I like that a lot. We have got this uh, skeleton, which is holding the switches as well. Put this back together and play Valorant as well. Four grams, not bad. Not bad. I can get some weight out of that. Some of the better build quality. You can see what we said about the V3. So they got the plungers, the plastic rivets here, but they've actually put a screw in it. Now, if I show you on the original, which I actually chopped up anyway to do a bit of weight reduction and mess around, you can see in here there's no screw. You see there's no screw? It's just rivets. And that's one of my complaints with the Razor ones, is that they always riveted it, and it's not very good. But the screw here makes it better. Got some Maylar for the pad there as well. The only bit you can take out of the shell is this bit. Which is the LED, or the LED bit at the top. Ain't no one changing these switches, apart from Razer. Or maybe find the manufacturer who's made them and you might be able to get another set, but I guarantee they'll be identical. The uh, sides are riveted as well, fortunately. But can't win it all. Not the end of the world, but how is the shell? It's all combined with the buttons, though. 22.39, not bad, not bad. There we have the Death Adder V4 turned down. Taken two pieces.